Hello there. Thanks for joining us. I have in my hot little hand here the hummingbird sculpture that we created a while ago. And in this lesson, we'll be painting her. And we'll be painting her with metallic paints to show off the iridescent feathers. It was a lot of fun watching her come alive. So let's get into it. To paint our hummingbird, we used phthalo green, phthalo blue, purple, magenta, yellow, and silver, all in metallic acrylic paint. We also used lamp black, titanium white, burnt umber, burnt sienna, phthalo blue, sap green, and magenta in acrylic color. For brushes, we used the acrylic brush set in the wallet, and to hold our paint, we used a tear-off paper palette. The first step is to seal the sculpture with a thin coat of acrylic paint. We used black over the bird and white over the flowers. While you're here, don't forget to take a look around the Create section on our site and uncover a whole heap of free stuff from free projects, handy tips and tricks and techniques to keep you busy. Once this is dry, we lay a coat of burnt umber over the branch. Allow this to dry, then lay some burnt sienna over the top of that burnt umber. The leaves can then be painted with sap green. These are allowed to dry and then the top of each leaf is dry brushed with a lighter green created from metallic yellow and a touch of sap green. The flowers can then be painted with another coat of titanium white. And once this is dry, we paint it with a watery mix of magenta and white. Once this is dry, we concentrate more of the pink into the centre of each flower and paint the edges of each petal white. Our hummingbird will mainly be painted with metallic acrylic. So we squeeze out some phthalo green, phthalo blue, purple, magenta yellow and some silver we can then paint a very thin coat of silver over the wings. Next, we lay a thin coat of phthalo blue onto the top of the head, followed by a band of magenta at either side of the head under the blue. Phthalo green can then be painted under each eye and from the back of the head and down the back. Green is carried over the wings and then yellow is painted under the green of the cheeks. More green is then painted on our friend's underside. We are simulating the hummingbird's beautiful iridescent feathers, but interestingly, the colouring on a hummingbird does not come from pigmentation but instead from prism-like cells within the top layer of feathers. Did you know that hummingbirds have 940 feathers? It's quite amazing to think that some scientists actually took the time to count them all. We can then paint the chest area in with phthalo blue. More yellow is added to the base of the tail under the green and the top plane of the tail is painted with magenta. Female hummingbirds are attracted to the iridescent feathers on the males and it's the females who pick their mate. We can then paint the back of the wings in with purple and some magenta can be painted onto the throat.
Next we can create a grey from titanium white with a touch of black and carefully paint in the eye ring with the rigger brush. Hummingbirds have very large eyes in comparison to their body and can see better than humans. A highlight is then created with a tiny spot of white. The last step is the base. We kept this quite simple so as not to take away from the hummingbird and just created a sky blue from phthalo blue and titanium white and paint this over the canvas. We then decided to paint the base of the branch with black to finish it off. And voila. Thanks again for joining us and we hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you haven't checked out the first lesson, then you might like to have a look at that. Otherwise, have fun, keep creating, and we'll see you in the next one.